Hi, and welcome to Subtraction with Regrouping in the Ones, Tens, Hundreds, and Thousands. Our problem for today is 5,146 minus 2,598. We're going to start by changing our subtraction problem from horizontal form to vertical form. Again, I'm going to start with the bigger number the number on the left and write it on top. Then I'll write the number on the right, the smaller number below. To help me stay organized, I'm going to draw in dividers. I'm almost ready to go. I'm just going to move it down a little bit so that I have a little more room on top. Let's start with the ones place. Right away we have a problem because we're trying to subtract eight ones from six ones. Six minus eight. We can't do that. We need to take eight, but we only have six. So we're gonna have to regroup. And we're gonna have to go to the neighboring column to the left, the neighboring place, which is the tens place. So I'm going to regroup and take one of the four tens from 5,146 and move it over to the ones place. So since I'm taking one 10 away to regroup, I'm going to now change my four tens into three tens and transfer my 10 into 10 ones. So now I have 10 ones and six ones, which gives me 16 ones. So I need to get rid of this six and update it so it's 16. Now I can subtract eight from 16, or 16 minus eight is eight. I'm ready for the next part. Again, uh-oh, we have a problem. I want to subtract 3 minus 9, but I can't take 9 from 3. I don't have enough, so I'm going to have to, you guessed it, regroup. And this time I'm going to the hundreds place where I have 100. So I'm going to change that 100 and uh, give it to the tens place. But first I have to show that I took 100 away and now update it with a 0. And again, I'm going to have to change. I'm going to get a different color for this just so we can um, see what's happening and, and not get too confused. All right, so the three tens that we had, which wasn't enough, we now are going to add 102, or which is 10 tens. 100 is equal to 10 tens. So now I'm going to add 10 tens to three tens, and that will give me 13 tens, which is certainly enough for 13 minus 9. Now we can take 9 away from that quantity and we'll be left with 4 tens. Moving on. Oh boy, here we have another problem. We want to subtract 5 from 0, but we can't do it because you can't take anything from nothing. So, we're going to have to look to the left in the thousands place. And you guessed it again, we're going to need to regroup. So I'm going to take one of my thousands, and of course I need to update it. So I took one away. I'm going to change it so it says four thousands. And I'm going to give one of those thousands to the hundreds place. And a single thousand is equal to ten hundreds. So when I add ten hundreds to zero hundreds, I will now have ten hundreds. And I can subtract this time five from ten, or ten minus five. So ten minus five is five. And I'm almost done. Oh, thank goodness. No regrouping to do here, just a simple subtraction problem. Four thousands minus two thousands gives me two thousand. So I can say that five thousand one hundred forty six minus two thousand five hundred ninety eight is equal to two thousand five hundred forty eight.